Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today we're going to talk about some tiny additions to the Z-Man range that are creating a big interest with anglers. These are the Z-Man micro finesse baits. There are four models and today we're going to look at what jig heads fit them and how we might fish these four models. All right, our first cab off the rank is the 1.75 inch Shad Fries, which is a tiny paddle tail plastic with loads of action in that plastic. Color wise, some great colors, some real natural nice bait fish colors like the Pearl, Smelt and Blue Glimmer Sparkle. There's also some more lively colors, some fiery colors and you know, space guppies and electric chickens and the bumblebee, which is a nice contrast between black and chartreuse. So there's a, a bunch of cool colors in this little tiny paddle tail. These small plastics were designed for the US market for targeting things, uh, panfish like crappy, uh, bluegill, sunfish, those sorts of things. So that transfers beautifully to our market in Australia, our species, for species like in the fresh, say, jungle perch, and sooty grunter and redfin trout all that sort of thing and then even bass and yellowbelly as well when they're on the tiny bait and that in in the impoundments and creeks and things and then saltwater wise we're talking um, whiting brim uh, even flatties on those guys as well um, tommy ruff all sorts of species yellowtail pike and that that love little tiny bait and then also those species that are hard to catch sometimes because they're zoned in on jelly prawns or they're zoned in on tiny bait fish, things like tarpon, giant herring, all those sorts of things. I think these finesse, micro finesse baits are gonna unlock a few of those species as well as catching those species that feed on tiny bait generally. So design wise, you can see, it's actually quite easy to rig this guy. It's got a nice meaty shad profile body. So you can pinch it and just feed it onto the jig head and it feeds on really well. And it's got a little rigging slot in the top that makes it nice and easy for you to see where that hook wants to come out there as well so that you can rig that thing for fishing. The first question we got asked when it came to these micro finesse baits is what jig head do I put them on? So that's what we're gonna look at today and just talk a bit about how we might fish them as well. So this nice little chunky body holds a jig head well and then it's got a segmented tail that goes down to a nice little paddle tail that gets a really tight shimmy to it. So if you just hold it, this in the current, you can see the tail working. You can fish it fast, you can fish it slow, hop it, slow roll it. You know, all those things that you would do with a traditional paddle tail plastic, we're just downsizing it to get the bite when it's tough. There's that old theory that even if I'm full from dinner, I can still eat a jelly bean if someone offers me a jelly bean. And that's the same thing with this. Even if the fish aren't so hungry or they're a bit picky or whatever they can't resist that little jelly bean so this guy is going to be deadly in that sense so jig head wise we've got a few options we've got a tt headlocks finesse and this is a size 2l you'll see a light wire hook on there so this is a light wire hook option the size 2 comes in a variety of jig head weights to suit a lot of your finesse fishing and that hook is a gamma katsu chemically sharpened black nickel hook so very very sticky fine wire hook so Perfect for the brim tournament anglers. Uh, perfect for those that are really all about penetration, especially if you're fishing light lines and light drag settings. So that's on our number two in a headlocks finesse. Hook wise, that transfers to a number four in a headlocks HD. So you can still put a heavy wire hook in this little tiny profile plastic. So that's a number four, and there's a variety of weights available in that TT Headlocks HD in a number four. So that's ideal if you're targeting those bigger fish that want to eat that tiny bait, and also if you want to rip fish out of structure with a heavier gauge hook. So that's another option as well. So we've got our finesse option and our HD option. And then also these are going to rig on a hidden weight system. And that hidden weight system is a Gamma Katsu hook as well. So again, we're on that number two hook in a TT HWS. And that allows us to conceal that weight inside the plastic. So a very, very natural look. We can flick it in around. It'll skip very well, skip it in around the pontoons and, and those sorts of things and get that real slow fall on that plastic and swimming on the drop and that sort of thing. So they'll all swim on the drop. They'll swim anything you do, whether you fish it fast, slow, twitch it, hop it, whatever you're doing. So a very, very easy to fish little plastic. Uh, my first session with it, I just I put one on, one of the smelt colors, walked up to the local jetty. First cast, I caught a tailor. 
and then I caught about a yellowtail pike a cast for the next 12 casts. They loved it. They were all over that little bait fish profile. And I could actually just drop it down beside the jetty pylon and let it swim and the rod would just load and they'd eat it. So I think these are going to work very similar in a sense if you want to fish brim around uh, bridges or things like that. If you want to vertically fish, you could just about suspend this plastic and lower it down the, the, pond to, uh, down the pylon and let it swim right up tight to the pylon like the tiny bait does and boom, fish are just going to eat it. So that's our first cab off the rank. That's a deadly little paddle tail in the Micro Finesse Bait series and that is the 1.75 inch shad fries. All right, the next model that we have in our Micro Finesse Baits is the two inch Stingers. And you can probably see that little tail on that Stinger is just moving around all over the place. It's a crazy tail design on this thing. Makes it very, very unique plastic. So again, a bunch of colors. We've got the you know blue glimmer sparkles and the pearl for some natural. We've got fire truce and space guppy and chartreuse glow. You know, that bumblebee, uh, coconut ice, electric chicken, bunch of colors in this little Stingers. And the two inch stingers basically has the same body profile as the 1.75 inch shad fries. So basically the same body profile, it's the tail that varies dramatically. So we've got that same minnow body that we know rigs well on a jig head. And then tail wise, this tail is a segmented tail, very, very fine segmented tail down to a bulbous end and that bulbous end actually has a cross on it a cross built onto the tail and what that does is it catches any water movement and any movement that you do with the rod so it's going to be very very hard to keep this tail still especially with the z-man being naturally buoyant and that bulbous end that bulbous end is going to want to move around all over the place so it's going to be a very very lively critter in the water and i think it's going to be perfect for twitching shaking more aggressive sort of retrieves as well where you're catching things like even um, trevally and salmon and all sorts of things that are feeding on tiny bait with that little that tail vibration i think is going to be amazing also what it's been designed for in the states which will also also transfer over here very well is fishing vertically because that bulbous tail will catch any water movement and dance around all over the place you can shake it you can move it move that rod tip around shake it make it dance next to vertical structure so whether you're in an impoundment uh, around timber, fishing for redfin or golden perch or, you know, fishing vertically around structure like timber, or you're in the salt fishing schooled fish or bridge pylons or any of that sort of structure, that little stingers is going to be deadly on that vertical presentation. Doesn't mean you can't cast it and twitch it and hop it as well. I'll fish this guy with a shaky retrieve or a twitchy retrieve and that little tail is going to go crazy. The other cool thing is, even though we're two inches long here, by the time you take that tail away, you're probably one inch of plastic. So when a fish hits that, that tail is gonna clear easily. So even though it's providing lots of vibration and movement, it's gonna clear well on the strike and get you that hook set. So jig head wise, we're basically the same as the shad fries because we've got that same body profile with that different tail. So again, we've got that size two in a headlocks finesse, which is gonna give you that great finesse option, that fine wire, Black nickel chemically sharp and gamma katsu hook. Otherwise, if you're if you want stopping power, you know you could be twitching this thing aggressively in amongst big fish that are on tiny bait. So you can have that four heavy in the Headlocks HD, which is a mustard, brutally strong mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So that's going to be good for if you are fishing vertically tight to structure and you need to get that fish out when it does hit. That's going to be perfect. And then again, we've got that hidden weight system option where we can skip it in around structure and jig it and twitch it around in the structure with that hidden weight with minimal weight so we can hold it up in the water column, get that nice slow sink and twitch it and get that tail moving. So that is the two inch stingers in the micro finesse baits, another deadly little shad body with a completely unique tail. All right, the third plastic in the micro finesse bait series from Z-Man is the 1.75 inch tiny ticklers. So it's basically a variation on a US tube bait, but it's a solid body, so it's a more of a stick bait with some tassels on the tail, quad tassels on the tail here, little fingers. So it's going to rig well because it's a solid body on that. It looks pretty cool and natural, and it's got a lot of movement because it's got these four fingers on the end of it here. 
So out of the packet, what I've done with mine, what I like to do before I fish them is I just give those little tassels a stretch and it gets them opening up nicely so there's loads of movement in that plastic. So what it could represent, it could represent a crab on the bottom, crab or craws or yabbies or those sorts of things. Could be some sort of worm or creature in the, in the bottom as well. So it's, yeah, it's gonna represent a lot of different things. It's got a lot of strike triggers on there. It's got that natural soft feel. It's got little lumps on the body there and it's got those four fingers on the back that are gonna attract the bite. So jig head wise on that guy, we've got a few more options because of the size of that body. So again, we can rig it on that size two in a finesse, headlocks finesse. And I also think you could squeeze a one in there as well if you wanted to. So a two or a one in a finesse, and that gives you that Gamakatsu chemically sharpened fine gauge hook for maximum penetration. And again, that number four in the Headlocks HD. And I also think you could run a two in that as well, no problem. And that two will pop up, up quite high on the plastic. So you've still got those four tassels working for you, moving around, attracting fish and triggering strikes. Remember, fish don't have hands to go, oh, what's that thing? So they've got to have a look at it with their mouth if they want to see what it is. So those tassels put the bite right near that hook point. So it's going to be very effective. Also, again, on a hidden weight, and that's on a size two. And I think we could also put that on a one in a hidden weight as well, if you wanted. So a two or a one, a one is very popular in a hidden weight system. You know, and you could sink that around for the brim around the pontoons and things, but I'm going to love it rigged on the Ned Rig. I think it's brilliant Ned Rig bait because it's, the Ned Rig will have it standing upright and those four tassels up in the air. So going to be brilliant, twitched across the flats, the weeds, the sand pockets on that hidden weight, on that um, Ned Locks. So that's a TT Ned Locks, and that's in a size two. So 1 15th ounce, number two. So going to be great for the flats, shallows, around structure, all that sort of thing fished on the Ned Locks. So that Ned Locks is going to give it that fleeing and then that rapid stand up like a crab or cray with those little claws popping up. So going to be deadly in the fresh and the salt will be excellent jigged as well vertically again in amongst schooled fish or around structure. But on the bottom on that stand up head on that Ned Locks, it's fishing the Ned Rig system, going to be a really good one. So stay tuned. I'll make some videos on fishing each of these as well. But I think that's going to be a great one for flatties, grunter, brim and that sort of thing twitched and hopped across the flats. So that is the tiny ticklers. 1.75 inch again, the same as our shad fries. So a very, very tiny bait, but going to attract some big bites with that movement and durability and buoyancy, natural buoyancy and that of that plastic. All right, let's check out our last in the micro finesse bait series. All right, the final of our four micro finesse baits is this tiny, crazy little guy here. It is a really, really awesome looking plastic. There's a lot of detail gone into this and it's going to be perfect for a stack of different applications. The trick with this plastic is rigging it. So this is the 1.75 inch larvas, which is a realistic imitation of say a dragonfly larvae or something like that. It's got, it's got a nice ribbed body, big bulbous eyes, tiny little legs that are going to create lots of vibration and movement. And then the tail is just out there. It's got a, a bulbous section going into some little prongs and then almost like a forked tail at the end, like a tri-fork thing at the end, which is going to give it a lot of tail movement as well for such a tiny little plastic. So how do I rig this tiny little elastic plastic? I think people are going to rig it in a lot of different ways. I think trout fishers are going to incorporate this into flies and they're going to even fish it on a fly rod because it is so light. I think it's also going to be fished under a bobber float. So just fished under a float like you might do with a mud eye or something like that for chasing trout and those sorts of things in the fresh. So I think it'll be fly fished, it'll be bobber rigged, it'll be rigged on a standard hook. So you can just rig that on a, on a normal J hook to keep the weight down, keep the plastic up and chase those stream trout and those sorts of things. And I, I would, in that situation, if you're using a standard J hook to lock that 10 times tougher Laztec material onto the hook, you can use a tiny dab of Loctite super glue gel control we generally use. Just a tiny, tiny dab. So push it onto your J hook, pull it back down a bit, put that tiny dab on and then push the plastic up and it'll lock it in place. In terms of jig heads, I have snuck it onto a size four in the Headlocks HD and a size two in the Headlocks Finesse and also a hidden weight system in a size two. 
The trick with it is though, it is a tiny plastic. So I found that you're right to the tail with the jig head. So you can get away with it, but it looks quite, the jig head look quite, looks quite big on the plastic with that size four heavy, size two light, uh, and that hidden weight. So what I've found, the, the jig head that it looks absolutely superb on is actually an, a jig head that's been in the TT range for a long time, and that's the Headhunter. So it's a Headhunter in a size six. So it's, it's built on a mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. It's a, it's a quality hook. It's a standard grub keeper. So it doesn't have the headlock style of keeper that locks the elastic material on with the gap in it. So it's a standard keeper. So it takes a little bit of pushing that plastic onto there, but once it's on there, it feels like it's locked on pretty well. And I don't even think we'd need to super glue it, but you do have that option with a tiny dab of super glue to lock it on. But it looks beautiful on that number six headhunter TT jig head. It's a tiny, tiny hook. You've got a diff some different weights that you can select from there to chase your trout and readies and whiting and brim and who knows whatever else is going to eat this little critter. But that number six hook pops out right at the back there before the little bulbous section and it allows complete movement of that tail still. So it looks absolutely beautiful rigged on that there. You'll see it's, that, it's green packaging to make it easier for you to identify. And it says 120th in this case, number six in a TT headhunter. So if I was rigging the lavas, 1.75 inch, that'd be the jig head that I'd be looking for. Again though, I think this plastic will fish in a wide variety of ways. Put it on your fly gear, put it under a bobber float and float it for trout and that sort of thing. Put a bit of Procure scent on it if you want to spice it up. Uh, I think it'll be fished on a J-hook unweighted as well and just switched around. And then on these little jig heads, you know, you can twitch it, you can move it, hop it around, you can drag it across the bottom you know, where the fish will be hunting these sorts of guys as well. So that little larvae is completely out there, completely different plastic. So I think it's going to be cool for those guys. Straight away, the trout guys will be on that one, I'm sure. But I think it'll appeal to a wide range of other species as well. Cool range of colours as well in that larvae. So we've got glow, motor oil, bloodworm, pink glow. There's a red, hot chartreuse, black, green pumpkin. So a stack of cool colours in that little creature profile. So there you go, that's the Z-Man Micro Finesse Baits range, four in the range. We've got our 1.75 inch stingers, uh, 1.75 inch shad fries, two inch stingers, 1.75 inch larvae, and that 1.75 inch tiny ticklers. So you can check them out at your local Z-Man stockist and also online at zman.com.au or tacklertactics.com.au and you can check out some more detail on those as well as that full color range and we'll also put details on there of what jig heads fit each of those models as well. Stay tuned for me fishing each of those different models and also I'll put together a bit of an article on those with rigging details and how I fish them and that sort of thing as well. All right, tiny baits, big fish. Let's see what you guys catch on those Z-Man Micro Finesse baits. Fish on. <laughs>